host and author of the book Ola Q E Q Danala. Am I saying that right? Ola Q E Q Danala. It is a good day. It is. <laughs> it is a good day. It's a great book. Um, Thank you. Tell me a little bit about the inspiration behind it. Well, you know the the twenty tens was such a wonderful time, and everybody was so cozy. I think Vancouver became very cozy. And I've had a lot of questions asked about the experience, you know, uh, questions about what it was like for me, what would happen afterwards, um, what was it like designing them, what kind of pressures. So I felt like it, it would be nice to sort of answer those questions. So how did you come up with the questions that are in the book? Because it's very much uh, basically a question every, every couple of pages and then your answer. Right. Um, well, some of them were a given because I've been asked them so many mm -hmm. times. And others, um, I actually put a little thing out on Facebook and said, what are the questions you'd like to see answered? Yeah. What, was there a question that took you by surprise? Um, I wouldn't say so because I've been asked so many times. Mm -hmm. um, you know, how did I come to do the medals was really a, a big question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how do you answer that in the book? Well, it, you know, it's, it's one of those things about chance, really. Uh, I had a coffee table in a gallery in, in um, Yale Town, and, and one of the Bannock people walked by, saw the coffee table, thought it was an interesting design, gave my name to Leo Obstbaum from Bannock, and they sent me a letter asking me to, to compete for the, the metal design. And so from there, what sort of steps were along the journey before they called and said, we would like your medals to be the Olympic medals? Uh, first, I had to accept that it was a serious letter <laughs> they sent <laughs> to me. Um, and it was, actually, the, the proposal was 35 pages long. It was quite extensive, and it, it took a lot of friends um, to help put it together. I was just recovering from chemotherapy, and I had what was called chemo brain. So I needed a lot of support, and, and they gave it to me, and, and I really was surprised, you know, that I would be asked to, and um, it was fun putting it together, and shortly after, they, I was down in California, and they, they asked me to do a short, uh, you know, come up for an interview. So where did you come up with the idea for the, the medals, the different shape, the form that they took? Well, um, my design partner, Omer, and I worked uh, very closely on the designs. Um, it was always a given that we wanted them to be unique and Leo, who was the head of brand and design, really had that vision and also the vision to bring two people together to try to create this. Um, and I had this idea that I would like to engrave every metal, you know, Santa's little helpers. It would have taken an awfully long time. Mm -hmm. But um, so we worked over 18 months to create the metals. Uh, you're asked about your 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> it certainly is a little bit longer than that, but uh, for an artist like yourself, what was that like for you to be brought up on the international stage? It was quite incredible. Um, I think I'd done so many interviews with so many countries, and you, you feel like you get to know a little bit about each of them. I was always fascinated by Russia, and I did a couple of interviews with Russian television, and. Um, I mean, you never know where it goes and what they're talking about, but the interest was, was really there, and it was wonderful to be able to share the stories of, of my community and, um, you know, of where I come from and how the medals came to be designed. So since 2010, it's now 2012, uh, what has the artist Kareem Hunt been up to? Uh, a lot, a lot. I spent much, half of last year really, away um, in Germany designing an exhibit in Dresden and uh, speaking at a conference in Munich and traveling to China and designing coins for the mint. Um, so I've been kept busy doing lots of really wonderful things. Yeah. Opportunities that came about because of the Olympic medals, do you think? Yeah, I think so. Um, I mean, I've been working in this business for 25 years, so um, certainly it helps. <laughs> All right, this is the book. It is a good day. Uh, if you'd like to meet Kareem, she's doing a book signing December 19th between 6.30 and 10 at the Latimer Gallery on West 2nd in Vancouver. Pop down.
pick up a book, great Christmas presents, and also uh, see some of your jewelry and other designs down there at Latimer? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you. CorrineHunt.ca is the website. Lovely to see you again. Yeah. Wonderful. Have a good Christmas. Thank you. All right. She has turned her dancing skills into